Hello, my organ friend. Please listen and please share. Measure 110's marketing strategy is very misleading. Very misleading. If you're, if you're voting yes, if you're voting yes to decrease incarceration for minorities, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. And I'll share with you why. One gram of heroin, two grams of meth. It costs money. Allowing our kids to have it on person, they have to purchase that. How do they get the money for that? They sell drugs. They commit crimes. Crimes. With crimes, you go to jail. We need to adjust our court system and our racial police profiling in our country. We do. Low-income housing can't afford attorneys. They can't afford to bail out of jail. So the courts cannot not afford us all to take our cases to trial. They can't afford it. So the DA stacks charge on top of tar charge on top of charge. Scare tactics, scare tactics. Your public appointed attorney says, hey, Mr. Ward, you have all these charges on your caseload here. If they all stick, I'm not sure what's going to stick. You might be facing 15 to 20 years. But I can get you a plea, a plea bargain for seven. I can't afford an attorney. Right? I can't afford an attorney. So I'm stuck doing seven years. On a, on a charge that I should be doing two years on, by the time I do work time and good time, I might be out in a year and a half, might be out in 13, 14 months. Again, measure one, 10, is not going to decrease the incarceration rates for minorities. It's not going to. I am a big fan of rehab. Measure 110 does not supply one rehab facility, not one. It's going to supply 16 assessment centers. We need rehab in our state. Oregon's ranked third to last in supplying rehab for its state. Vote no, measure 110. It needs to refine its talkings. Vote no on Measure 110. Thank you.